Are you sure, 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 sure? Yes. Are you sure, 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 sure? Yes. There's anointing here. Eh? There's, there's anointing. There's the rest anointing here. This is serious. I mean, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. This is serious. I mean, can you take it? Can you take it? Can you take it? God loves you. Uh, as you are receiving, something is about to happen. I say, it's, a, it's about to happen. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Something is happening. God loves you and He is blessing you. I say He's blessing you. The issue of the the vision of your mom must come to an end. There's a lady here. It's this one. This issue of dreams of your mom must come to an end. Amen. Because always you are dreaming, Mama. Huh? Yes, I do. But even yesterday. Huh? Even Ye yesterday I drank. Yesterday. And it's very <laughs> confusing you. This is an attack to you. <laughs> it's an attack. <laughs> I will kill you. You kill her. I will kill her. So that's the play. She must die. She must die. She must you die. want her to follow Mama? Yes! Yes! You want I to hate it. She must huh? I hate it. You wanted to I hate her. you, my God. So God is using. She must know. She will never, God will never use it. Brother, you. Yeah. Hi, my name is Teo Holizualo. I'm from Winnie Mandela Zone 10. Um, to confirm that the prophecy, the prophecy is very true. I used to dream my mother since she's passed on. And after dreaming her, I'll become very sick. I'll tired. I could, I could feel that I, like I, wanted, I want to die. So there was, like this morning when I come, I was about to come to church, there was this pain that I was feeling in my stomach. I was feeling happiness that like, it's like I was gone, I was like I was normal. So I felt like I was, it's like I was sick. And when I was, I was on my way to church, then I was in, inside the taxi. So I feel that the taxi like would cause an accident, I'll have an accident. So I was asking myself, um, um, what's wrong? I was feeling tired so that I was like, I was sick. So I couldn't understand what was happening. So I would like to thank God for, for, for today that he had remembered me and for daily. I like to thank the God of Charis for his prayers and I thank God because if it wasn't the God of this church of Charis and if it wasn't of mom and daddy and for their prayers, I would be gone for, 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 for a long time ago. Thank, thank, I thank the Lord of Charis that today I've been prayed for and I've got the prophecy. Mm, I would like to encourage everyone around the whole world in South Africa and outside that when you can, you can come here, your love will never remain the same. We are in the right place. There is God in this place. There is the power of God. Those who are sick, those who are sick, those who are seeking the God, the face of God, they must come to this church and their life will never remain the same. Yeah. What you have received in Nigeria now, Wow. It's working for you now. Wow. Hallelujah. I just returned from Nigeria. Eh? I just returned from Nigeria. Okay, yeah. I just returned from Nigeria. You are coming from Nigeria? Yes, sir. When? Uh, last week, Wednesday. It's working now for oh, you. Oh, Jesus. I receive. You know? I receive. Because I'm seeing you prophesy. You're a prophet. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. You're, you're a prophet. I'm seeing you prophesy. Yes, sir. <clears throat> God is anointing you. Yes. Where's your wife? She's here. Can you just bring your wife here? Oh, Jesus. Jesus. You are coming from Nigeria? Yes, sir. Are you sure, sure, sure? Yes, sir. Last week, Wednesday. What you have received there is working for you now. Amen. Because Amen. God, Amen. listen, God wants to make you a prophet of renown. But please, yeah, because I think the message I was speaking about, prophesying this many, many things, you know, also can affect also. Mm. But you must ask God when you are prophesying. Okay. Because you are a prophet, you can see. Mm. Even when I look at you, I can see you are seeing. Mm. Receive, receive. You are anointed with your wife. Can, 
Let's allow him to confirm what I'm saying. It's true. It's uh, true. Uh, God has uh, been coming here for many years. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I decided to, I told my wife that what we saw you doing, we want to be doing the same thing. Then we took the, uh, the step of faith. We begin to speak to people. They said, it's true. It's true. Then we begin to grow from one level to another. Come on. 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 Take it. You're anointed. Come on. You demon. You demon. Uh, my name is uh, Prophet Peter Oladitom. I'm from Pretoria. The name of our ministry is Impact Tabernacle Ministries. And the person standing beside me is my lovely wife. Uh, she's Pastor Lady Oladito. Uh, the man of God pointed to me and he said that um, uh, God wants to use me. And um, I just returned from home. I was so shocked because I just returned from Nigeria. So he said that uh, God is anointing us. And he said he saw me prophesying, which is true. Uh, since we have been coming here since two years ago. Uh, we saw what the man of God has been doing here. Then we took this step of faith. We started prophesying as well, and people began to confirm it. I uh, can uh, confirm that uh, the man of God spoke from the heart of God, and I believe that God has located us today. I felt the power of God all over me, and I fell down. I stood again, I could not stand. I could see that something has entered me because it has happened before. When I go back to my church, a lot of things happen. I believe that it has happened again. The anointing of God is upon me and I'm anointed indeed. I feel so very happy and glad. And the way it was happening today, I thought we will not arrive here. It's like the, it's, the devil was like trying us to, to stop. But I thank God for what happened today. Uh, what are we like to say is that there's a lot of pastors outside there there's a lot of prophets outside there uh we like to tell them that sometimes as a pastor you need a pastor sometimes as a man of god you need somebody to speak over your life and around this outing area i will advise you to come to apostle jeremiah makananisa because he's a genuine man of god and i could feel it all over him that he loves us and he wants us to grow like him so I will advise any man of God that is watching now that they should come to Sharis Missionary Church and be blessed and grow under his ministry. Thank you very much. The lady behind. Yes. Where's your husband? Eh? There's a prayer she has been praying concerning you. You understand? Yes. There's a prayer. I'm hearing this lady praying for you. Yes. You hear me say? Yes. Eh? Because of the challenges you are going through. Yes. Eh? Yes. It seems as if it's very tough now. Yes. But everything started very good. You people, you had money. Yes. But man now of God. the graph went to zero. Yes, man of God. Is it true what I'm saying? Yeah, it's true. Yes, it's true. Because I'm hearing this lady crying to. Yes. yes. Say, Lord, can you lift my husband? Yes. Yes. It's true. Yes. It's true. It's true. Very and, uh, true. And from today, it's going to happen. I receive. Thank you. There's a problem of the womb. Yes. 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 Huh? yes. Uh, because I see a womb is like it has ten like this. Mm. Yes. And to extend that, there's there's no children. Yes. Mm. No yes. children. Man huh? Help no me children. Brother. You don't have children. Yes. yes. God wants to bless please. you with a child. Amen. I You are blessed. Can you confirm? Because I've just seen the baby coming. Now, since we married, uh, we didn't have a child for five years. For five years? Yes. Are you coming here for the first time? Yes. For, yeah, huh? for the first time. For the first time? Yes. yes. Okay. Maybe yeah. it's better because if you were coming here, you would think you told me, but God is giving you a child now. Now I was here Amen. alone here last Amen. week. Last week I was here alone. You were here alone? Yes, and today I came with my wife. And I heard the prayer of your wife. Eh? Amen. Amen. So God is honoring you. Amen. Yeah, it's amazing. This is a big confirmation for us. I'm blessed. Yeah, this is, we have been praying for these days, and the God today, he find us. The man of God says, you know, I was down, down, and then my wife, she has been praying God to lift me up. And the God today, he answered the, the prayers. I was financially, I was very down. Then also we have been struggling since we married for five years. 
to have a child. So today God he gave us a confirmation that we are we received the child. Yes, yeah, this is the right place because I've been going different chairs, no one picked me up and then today here I find the Holy Spirit he picked me up. So this is the right place. Yeah, this is the right place. Yeah. Really, this is the right place where the Spirit of God is here. Yeah. So I'm really blessed. Yeah, I'm really blessed. Yes. Come. I also want to encourage you. I'm encouraging you. I'm encouraging you. You know why I'm encouraging you? God must give you men now. Thank you. Because there are many ladies around you. Thank you. So God it must is give true. you. Eh? It is very true. It's very true. Yes. God must give you men to support your vision. Yes. And then that's how you will make it. Thank you. And I believe very soon you will, you will use TV. <laughs> your blessing. Where are you working? Eh? I'm not working. Were you searching for a job? No, I'm still studying. Eh? I'm still studying. Because I can't see anything that you are doing succeeding. Yes, it's true. Even the issue of studies, it's a story. Yes. Eh? Yes. It's, it's as if there's a spirit of limitation. Yes. On you. Yes. So you are studying? Yes, I am. So you believe you finish? I'm not sure. I don't want to. You don't know, eh? Because of the challenges you are facing. Yes. So I believe you are going to finish Amen. and work. Amen. I believe. You hear me? Yes. Huh? Yes. I believe you are going to finish. And what you are studying is going to work in the house of God. Amen. I believe. You understand? Yes. You are together? Yeah, she's my daughter-in-law. She's a daughter what? My daughter-in-law. Daughter-in-law? Yes. What she study will work in the house of God. Amen. Yes. God must make you a pillar. Receive, receive. Take, take the name of Jesus. Another thing, when I'm praying for her like this, one of the reasons why I pray for people at the distance is to make them to understand that God is alive. Because, you know, when you reach there, you touch you, you say, we are putting demons on you. So now, when you are at the distance, like herself, she never believes she can fall. Yes. It's not true. It's true. Eh? It's true. Because she has not fallen. It's not true. It's true. So, but now you have fallen. What are you saying? I believe that God oh. is You are falling again. You are falling again. So, the reason why I pray for people in the distance is to make you to believe that it's not all about us. It's all about what? Jesus. Eh? God or Jesus. Jesus? Even the way you say God, Jesus. And can you tell us the prophecy you received in the confirmation? The man of God spoke about my education. It's been long that I've been studying. And then even now, I was supposed to could have written my exams, but I could not because of some strike where I was supposed to be writing. So I confirm it to be true because it's really been long since I'm in school. So it's true what the man of God said. Uh, based on my peers, where they are, and how I wished I was, I, I did my studies in record time, so it did not, you know, it did not sit well with me at all. It is possible, or I can say that it is possible, believe God and He will do it for you. Nobody else but God. Leave me! Leave Jesus. me! Come on! Leave me! Leave me! Leave me! Leave me! Come on! Leave me! Out, you demon! Out! Who knows, sir? Huh? My, my wife. It's your wife. You're a pastor. She needs deliverance, you know that? Huh? Do you know she needs deliverance? Huh? She was once delivered. There is demon here. <sighs> You're a demon here. Uh, what are you doing to her? She's 
She's yours. She's mine. She's mine. What are you doing? She's mine. You say she's yours. She's mine. Stand up straight. Can you talk? What I do to her? Huh? You can't play. She has to come play. I've stopped. She can't play. I've stopped. I've stopped her. Is it true? To pray. I've stopped her. She can't play. She can't play. I've stopped everything. Where, where's your ministry? She can't pray. I'm in. Where In this good. Huh? In this good. Where? The Tsukud. In Botswana, Botswana. It's so true. Botswana. Botswana. Yes. I've stopped her to pray. She used to pray. But what I've is stopped. happening to her is also happening to you. I've stopped. Mm -hmm. even, yes. yourself, even yourself, they've yes. attacked you. Right. You understand? Mm -hmm. Even your prayer life is going to zero. Yeah, yes. my prayer life has gone down. Huh? Yeah, it's gone down. Your prayer goes down like mm -hmm. this. Yes. And then nothing is working for you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yes, true. Mm. And is this they a spiritual pray. husband? Mm -hmm. Yes. Huh? I am. Yeah. You marry her? I am, yes. Who gave you her? Her grandparents! Huh? Her grandparents! So, what are you doing to this man? This one? Huh? Stupid boy. She wants to start a ministry, but he can't. He can't. He's a stupid boy. Yes. So, yes. you don't know that she he married this lady? I don't know why. Huh? Why? Why did, he, why did she marry? Can you remove this ring? Remove. Remove your ring. Which one? The one they put here. I count three. One, two, three. <laughs> She's free. Take your ring. Let me pray for you. Come on. You're free. You're free. Put a ring in her. God bless you. your wife? Huh? Yes. It's your wife? It's my wife. Where yes. do you come from? Limpopo, Mkopa. Huh? Limpopo. I wrote you an email. You wrote me an email? Yeah, last month. Concerning what? We, we actually wanted to ask to, to come here to submit officially because we've been following since 2012 until today. Maybe we need to learn what is submission. I want to teach people what is submission. Uh, so that you understand what is submission, than to talk about it. Because I've experienced a lot of problem of the people who say they want to submit. Pray against the issue of Mary and remarry. You hear me? Because it's in your family. Yes. Huh? Yes. And otherwise, you people, you always fight. Yes. Because the relationship here is like under attack because of the spirit of your family. Yes. Are you aware of what I'm talking about? Yeah, sometimes we argue. Sometimes we disagree, but... And who win between you and her after you argue? Because 
in here in my marriage. It's no, I just, I just leave it to her. Always you I leave it to her. leave it to her. Yeah. Are you not I don't encouraging want to the demon <sighs> of a family to control you? Sure. <sighs> huh? Are you not encouraging the demon of a family to control you? Because if you are saying this is wrong, why well, don't say it's wrong? Let's fix it in the right way. Because if the way she's dominating, this really can work against you. If she's wrong, say you are wrong. Can we do it this way? I mean, you have got something to say. As a leader of the family, are you hearing my brother? I understand. Uh, let us not encourage this spirit. You hear me, sister? Yes. You must be.